So in the last video, we opened up this Heathkit O-11 oscilloscope. We turned it on, and one of the tubes blew. The tube was a 6x4 full-wave rectifying electron tube. I ordered one from eBay for $5 free shipping, and it finally came in the mail. In the meantime, I've used my capacitor tester to test all, pretty much all the capacitors. I haven't gotten a couple of the small ones, but they're kind of insignificant. But I've tested all of them, these ones included, and they're all fine. The None of them are shorted. Some are a little bit less capacitive than they should be. Like, one might be 20, and it's kind of like 15 microfarads. But as long as they're not shorted out, that's probably good enough. Well, anyway, let's get this tube in there, right in there, and turn it on and see how it goes. Six X four. Perfect. We're plugged in and live, so we have power coming in, we have a little jumper crossing over where the fuse was. I'll have to get a new fuse. And let's turn it on. Turn out the lights so we can see if they start glowing. Let's go. Tubes are starting to glow. The 6X4 is glowing okay. Well, unfortunately, it shot a big spark, and I didn't get it on camera. Shot it right underneath here. I don't know if, if it should be moving around like that. I don't know. Hmm. Now, there's really no solder connecting this capacitor. To the to the base, so I'm just going to take a little jumper and try to short it out, so it does have at least a solid connection to a ground. Because I'm thinking what happened was this wasn't soldered in properly, so it wasn't actually grounding to the case. So there's a voltage difference building up. And then the top part, the metal can, arced over against the frame. Because there really wasn't any good connection there. Which I think there should be. So all the tubes are working except for that one. The 1v2. But I could probably replace that with just a simple diode, because that's all it is, is just a little half-wave rectifier, a.k.a. a diode. Hmm. The 6x4 is starting to glow a little bit blue. Maybe there is an issue. Yep. I turned it off. It is having an issue. Well, this has definitely stumped me. I'm thinking... There is a chance that maybe this is the, the capacitor going bad. It doesn't have a, a good amount of resistance between the two poles of the capacitors. It has only like 1 to 4k kilo ohms, 1 to 4 kilo ohms of resistance between them. And that could be a sign it's faulty, but I don't know. This little 7 watt, 1 kilo ohm resistor gets mighty hot whenever I turn it on, so that means there's a lot of power going into it down that wire, or coming out. But yeah, I'm not sure. Everything seems to be working fine whenever I test it with the meter, but, yeah. I'm getting kind of bored of this project, so I think it's probably good to put it in the shed and wait until I find the right capacitors to replace this big capacitor. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!